Hello there and welcome back to yet another episode in our wonderful series. So, in the last episode we did not construct this area, we did actually construct and uh, start to develop this lovely forestry area. And uh, I think I was saying as well that maybe maybe this was actually supposed to be the the district or the, or the section peninsula in here that's um, gonna be manufacturing all the goods. I think I was meant to build this forest over here, but uh, I guess the plans, you know, they uh, change sometimes as well. But uh, that's okay. Uh, that's fine. We'll just adapt, move on, and um, things will be okay. So, what I would like to do, although those districts aren't looking the fanciest, I don't want everything to kind of stand and stick out just like our scrap city over here does this is also perhaps not quite complete i think i've got a couple more ideas however what i'm saying is the, this district over here is meant to stick out like a sore thumb whereas uh, the farming um, I, I think the idea is to be a bit more like a like a smaller area that's uh, just focusing on food production now the focus for this episode i would like to connect up uh, what is it this district over here to a couple of train stations there and then um, i suppose we'll do a station somewhere here as well and then we'll look at connecting scrap city with um with our forestry as well so um yeah that, that's going to be the focus for this episode now since it is rainy season and i think we have put in quite a few dynamites in here it's gonna yeah here we go i thought it might crash or lag this down but actually wasn't too bad was it no not at all so here we go we are gonna give you oh yeah that's gonna slow it down a little bit but that's okay it's not like we are in a rush with this anyways. Let's just double check. Is the water flowing through? Uh, it should be. But it doesn't look like it's moving at all. A little bit bizarre. Might have to build some gates here to try and direct it, I suppose. But anyways, let's leave you for a little bit and let's focus on today's episode. So, um, train station. I was thinking we could build it up here. And then have the train tracks. Let me just grab something so you can see it a little bit easier as well. We could have a little bridge over here, cross over, and then I guess just straight through this area. But the river is kind of in the way. And then, yeah, I don't want it to cross from here. I mean, we could do it from here, from this side. It's going to be a slightly bit bigger bridge. And then I guess we'll go around and then turn in here instead. So that's an option. But I know from the previous episode I was saying that I'd love to have the train kind of go through those little mountains or the hills from here and then build the bridge in this area yeah that's kind of what I was thinking and then we could go let me just grab the train tracks again so we were going through here goes in cross the river maybe do a little bit of a bend in here as well turn a little bit and then we'll go up again and we could hide the train station actually in this pocket in here. Okay, so let's grab you real quick. And oh yeah, we could do this one here. Or if we place you this way. Um, okay, I think we are going to have to clear up this zone a little bit. Yep, all of this is going to go actually. So the question is... How many train tracks do we want to pass through this area? So, yeah. I think one's... Hmm. One or two. So, yeah. It's unfortunate that we don't have... Now, I'll be completely honest. I've not done any reading, even though I promised that I'll, I'll look up what are some of the changes with the, with the train mod. But uh, I've, I've not done that. So, my apologies. However, what I was going to say, I kind of missed the um, the traffic lights because that was really cool. You could just build one station and then run and connect them into lots of different other stations. So what I'm thinking, we could do those pillars up and higher a little bit and then connect them up with the, the bridges here between them. 
Oh yeah. All right, so there we go. I've quickly deleted them to allow us to change this up just a tiny bit. Okay, this one I'm thinking we are gonna change you up a little bit as well. Let's grab the bridge again. Oh, this isn't looking as pretty as it was before. Let's have a look if we connect you like so. Actually, never mind. I take it back. This is looking very wonderful. I mean, if we wanted to make this a little bit longer as well, then we definitely could do so. And then for the last bit over here, we just need to connect you with the land and... Oh dear, okay, so... That's a little bit too long. I think that's fine. Alright. Here we go. But yeah, the problem is still gonna be how are we gonna get all of this built here. Well, building it is probably okay... Hmm, yeah, the main problem is laying down those tracks, so we definitely have to figure something out. Alright, how are we looking? Okay, I think I can dig this. Yep, that's, uh, that's not bad at all. I am thinking though, what if we bring this up a little bit higher? We have these very interesting blocks in here. Hmm. What else do we have? This one's quite quite a fun one as well. It sort of hangs over the cliff. It's very difficult to get in the right spot. Yeah, that looks massive. All right, maybe a little bit too much space in here, but that's okay. Let's figure this out. And I mean, we could connect you up. It looks kind of like, I don't even know what it looks like. Is it like a key? A bit weird maybe okay let's have a look at the de other decorations as well what, what else can we put in here i mean some of those um, braziers will be it will be pretty cool maybe some flowers uh, maybe we're facing this the wrong way maybe we should okay let's um let's not delete this just yet we can experiment with the design on this side as well. Let's bring you up just a tiny bit. And there we go. All right. Quick look at our blocks. We'll do a couple facing the same way as before. Okay, so what I'll do is let me just have a quick play around. We've got most of the things in place already. The beavers are or the bots are constructing stuff as well. And with the trout starting, I have completed a bit of a design in here as well. Of course, it has a few more decorations than this one here. Um, I mean, we, we can probably add a couple of things here as well, but yeah, that's essentially what we what we have in here. A couple of beaver busts. We have braziers and some shrubs as well, just to beautify a little bit. And I guess it's kind of like a like a DIY monument that we have in here with the drains hopefully zooming through this area. And um, I was thinking it would be cool to have the beaver roads maybe crossing through as well. Uh, different areas into another district, but not quite sure how we can accomplish this without completely redesigning it. So for the time being, we're just going to leave it. Uh, that's kind of weird. A uh, bit of a floater over here. But yeah, gonna have to build quite a few ladders to give them a little bit of access. But but yeah, design is there. What I am gonna do now is I'm gonna let the game run a little bit, let the bots construct everything up, and as soon as it's done, we'll be right back. And many hours later, we have finally completed all of those tracks in here, and I believe trains uh, should be good to go as well. But we're just waiting for a bit of resources. So whilst we're waiting for that, let's have a quick look around as well. Oh, before we go and check out the new bridge, I actually... So I've just realized when you click on the straight train track, it actually allows you to divide the section, adding the signals and yeah, you can even change the direction as well. So at least we know about this now. That's, um, that's fantastic. And in the future we can... I, I think we're probably going to have to change some of those tracks around since now we can put multiple trains on those tracks. Anyways, yeah, so they, um, I've got two different stations in here and then here are the bridges. So they are now finally complete, fully built. Here we go, get a good angle on this as well. And the first one has a couple of decorations, kind of looks like a crown or I don't know, like a, like a staff or something. And of course we had to put a couple of braziers here as well. 
And then this one, now that I have, what are they called? The decoration slope double height. It sort of looks like a cat, if I'm completely honest. Wasn't really intentional, but um, yeah. I mean, I was thinking, okay, maybe they should both look the same, but now I'm kind of thinking, actually, let's just leave it the way it is. It's a... Uh, kind of magical and special the way it is right now so yeah that's what we that what we do have now the opposite or this train track over here doesn't really have an end destination just yet because it's been taking such a long time surprisingly long time to construct this over here and yeah i'm gonna figure out where do we want to take this train we can go through here and uh, i think the plan was maybe we'll stop somewhere here but now that we know that we can share those tracks as well I might want to do things differently but we'll see in the future how this is gonna go in the meanwhile thank you so much for watching that's gonna be the end of this episode so we'll see you in the next one